Hi everybody. Uh, this is the the last topic for ACT two one three one. Topic nine. Uh, topic ten. Decision making. Uh, I hope you can uh, hear uh, my voice clearly. Okay. Uh, the first thing that you have to know in this uh, topic is uh, you have to know that this topic is about decision making uh, managers uh, you know that uh, a management accountant uh, works under and un, uh, works under a manager uh, a manager has to make many business decisions every day so it is the responsibility of a management accountant to help manager to make good business decision. So in this topic, you will uh, you will learn about I think four or five uh, decision makings, uh, decision making uh, method that you that a management accountant can use uh, to help manager to make good business decision. Okay, this is the first thing. Uh, you have to know about this before you learn about the decision making uh, system. Okay, the first one is uh, cost concepts for decision making. Uh, in in like uh, topic one, I think you have learned about many different types of uh, costs, uh, like uh, manufacturing costs, non manufacturing costs. Uh, fixed cost, variable cost and etc. So in this, uh, for this topic on decision making, you will learn about cost, types of cost that are relevant for decision making. So the first, uh, the first type of cost that you have to know is uh, relevant cost. So relevant cost is a cost that differs between uh, alternatives. When you want to make a decision, you always will have alternatives. Uh, you can decide A or do, you can decide B or do, you can decide C. So a relevant cost is a cost that differs between alternatives. If a cost is differ between all the alternatives, then we call the cost as relevant cost. For example, if you choose uh, alternative A, and th then the cost is 10,000. If you choose alternative B, then the cost is 20,000. If you choose uh, alternative C, the cost is uh, 3,000, for example. So this cost, are, uh, this cost is a relevant cost because it changes or differs for every alternative. Uh, if you see a cost, you choose uh, uh, alternative A, the cost is 10,000. If you choose alternative B, the cost is also 10,000. And then if you choose alternative C, the cost is still 10,000. Then that cost is called, uh, uh, that cost is not a relevant cost. Uh, because it, uh, because this, the cost is same uh, in every alternative. So that is not a relevant cost. Always remember about that. So this is uh, the additional explanation. Cost that can be eliminated in whole or in in part by choosing one alternative over another alternative are uh, avoidable costs. Avoidable costs are relevant costs. Unavoidable costs are never relevant. Okay, remember, unavoidable costs are never relevant. And they include sunk cost. Sunk cost is an example of unavoidable cost. Sunk cost is something like this. Let's say you have a motorcycle. Uh, you have purchased the motorcycle three years ago. You pay five thousand uh, dollar for the motorcycle. So that five thousand dollar is a sunk cost because uh, because. It will not affect your today's decision. 
you have the motorcycle today let's say you 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 want to decide whether you want to use the motorcycle or you want to sell the motorcycle so you you have two alternatives the five thousand dollar that you have paid three years ago does not affect your decision today because you already paid the the cost five years ago you sell it or you use the motorcycle the cost cannot be changed you have paid the cost in the past so that cost is an example of a sunk cost so another example of unavoidable cost is future cost that do not differ between the alternative okay this type of cost is also uh, avoidable cost sorry unavoidable cost and they are not a, a relevant cost they are not a relevant cost okay this is the first uh, decision making method that you have to learn in this topic the decision is called uh, adding or dropping se segments okay see the the white box one of the most important decisions managers make is whether to add or drop a business segment such as a product or a store remember you have learned about uh, segment of businesses uh, one business can has uh, can have several segments uh, for example we have used uh, an example in the past is panasonic panasonic has many segments tv segment uh, kitchen appliance segment uh, air condition segments etc so sometimes a business has to make decision whether to uh, to close a segment or not sometimes uh, when a business has many segments uh, some of the segment uh, is not making profit some of the segments are not making profit so the the business has to make decision whether to continue the segment that is making loss or to close down the segment that is making loss so that is, that is the kind of the uh, decision that you will learn uh, in this uh, subtopic let's see how relevant costs should be used in this kind of decision okay let's see this is a sample question and you will see how to make the decision due to the declining popularity of digital watches Lovell company's digital watch line has not reported a profit for several years an income statement for last year is shown in the next screen okay this business it has many segments one of the segment is a uh, digital watch line and this digital watch line this uh, segment uh, making loss for several years so the company want to decide whether to continue this segment or not so let's see the income statement so this is the income statement for the digital watches line says 500,000 and then variable expenses 200,000 so contribution margin is 300,000 uh, the fixed expenses uh, is 400,000 so the segment is making loss 100,000 so this is one of the additional information investigation has revealed that total fixed general factory overhead and general admin expenses will not be affected if the digital watch line is dropped the fixed general factory overhead and general admin expenses assigned to this product will be reallocated to other product lines so if these two costs will not be affected are these costs relevant costs or irrelevant costs uh, the answer is these two costs are are not a relevant cost okay remember when you do uh, calculation for decision making you only use relevant costs the costs that are not relevant will not be included in the calculation for decision making so remember these two costs uh, okay this one is another additional information 
the equipment used to manufacture the digital watches has no resale value or alternative use. So what do you think about this cost? Uh, this cost is like a sunk cost. Uh, the company has paid for the equipment many many years ago maybe. So now the company continue the segment or close the segment the cost has been paid in the past so this is not a relevant cost okay the question now should Lovell retain or drop the digital watch segment okay let's see how to make a uh, calculation uh, for this kind of decision okay. okay this is the decision rule the business or the company should should close the digital watch segment if its profit will increase if the profit increase then the company should close the uh, segment if the comp the profit is getting lower then the company should not close the segment so let's see how to make the decision uh, this is one of the way to make the decision but I I want you to focus uh, on this method the comparative income approach method okay using this method you have to compare uh, profit before before the closing and profit after the closing okay so in the uh, row number uh, column column number two here you can see the calculation for profit if uh, if the company continue the operation of these digital watches okay you have seen the calculation uh, in the previous slide when you see the uh, income statement for the digital watches uh, segment so so if the company continue the uh, digital watches segment the the loss is 100,000 okay in the column number 3 you see here this is what happened if the business close the digital watches line if the business close the digital watches line uh, three costs as will still exist you have seen in the additional information in the previous slide these three costs cannot be eliminated okay so let's see here the first cost is the general factory overhead 60,000 the second one is depreciation uh, 50,000 and the general admin expenses 30,000 uh, the depreciation is for the machine that has been purchased many many years ago yeah even though the, the machine has been purchased many years ago every year the business has to to uh, calculate the depreciation uh, until the end of the uh, life of the machine so see here so see the the third uh, column here if the business close the uh, digital watches segment the loss is 140,000 so now you compare uh, if the company continue the digital watch segment the, the loss is 100,000 if the company close the digital watches segment the loss is 140,000 so now the question is uh, what do you think the company should continue the operation of the digital watches segment or to close the segment Okay, the answer is the business has to continue the operation of the uh, di the digital watches segment because if the company uh, because the loss if the company close the segment is higher compared to the loss if the business continue the uh, the operation of the segment uh, if the comp company co uh, close the digital watch uh, segment the loss is 140,000 it is higher compared to 
uh, if the com company continue the operation which is only losing uh, $100,000 so that is the the decision the correct decision for this uh, scenario okay the way uh, the reason or the loss figure uh, is affected by the common fixed cost if you can remember when you learn about the segment uh, financial statement you you have learned about common fixed cost you cannot allocate common fixed cost to segments okay okay this is the second decision uh, that you have to learn how to 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 calculate for this kind of decision so this uh, is about the make or buy decision okay see the white box there a decision concerning whether an item should be produced internally or purchased from outside supplier is called make or buy decision uh, let's look at the sx company example so by a make or buy decision is like this uh, A company that uh, produces a product uh, uses or needs many components uh, or needs many uh, raw material for example let's say you have a soft drink business when you have a soft drink business uh, you need at least three materials uh, the bottles the ingredients of the drinks and then the label uh, okay that's about it so if you have this kind of business you can make the material or you can purchase the material from uh, from supplier for example uh, for this soft drink business let's say uh, for the label let's say you have a soft drink business when you make the soft drink you need to have label to uh, to put into the bottle uh, to label to make the label to the bottle so you can make the label or you can purchase the label from external supplier okay this is the decision that you will learn uh, you want to know which one is good uh, to make the uh, label or to purchase the label from external uh, supplier okay let's see so let's look at the SX company example Okay, SX manufactures part A that is used in one of its product. The unit product cost of this part is like this. So, SX manufacture uh, a product and SX uses a component or part 4A for, uh, for, uh, for its product. So, let's see. The unit product cost of this part is direct material nine dollar direct labor five dollar variable overhead one dollar depreciation of special equipment three dollar supervisor salary two dollar general factory overhead ten dollar and you see there the unit product cost which is the total cost is thirty dollar so i think there are uh, there are additional information okay see here these are the additional information the special equipment used to manufacture part 4a has no resale value so what what can you understand from this when it has no uh, resale value it means that uh, the depreciation cost for this equipment is is not a relevant cost uh, the business uh, make the uh, component or purchase the common a component from outside the cost it will still exist uh, because the equipment cannot be used or cannot be sold to add uh, for other purposes uh, the total amount of general factory overhead which is allocated on the basis of direct labor hours will be unaffected by this decision so the thing that you can understand is 
this factory overhead cost uh, will exist whether the business uh, whether the business uh, make the component or purchase the component from outside supplier the 30 dollar unit product cost is based on 20000 parts produce produced each year and outside supplier has offered to provide the 20000 parts at the cost of 25 dollar per part so see here if the business make the component the cost is 30 dollar per unit and an outside supplier offered to provide the same component at 25 dollar per unit so if you do not do analysis you will you will say that uh, the uh, uh, the company should uh, should accept the offered made by the outside supplier because it is cheaper to purchase from outside so let's see how to make good decision uh, using uh, that, uh, data related to this scenario so the way to make uh, to make decision for make or buy uh, decision is like this so you have to to create a table like this so you have to show what is the cost to make the the component and also, uh, uh, how much is the cost to buy the component? So let's see here. Uh, so see here. In the in the second column, you can see that the cost per unit. Uh, this is from the question. The cost per unit. Uh, first, from if the company purchase uh, from outside supplier, the cost per unit is. $25 and then in the fourth column you can see that the total cost to uh, to buy the component from outside is $500,000 uh, why $500,000 the cost per unit is uh, to, the cost per unit to purchase from outside is $25 the total 20,000 units so $25 times 20,000 units the total cost from if the company buy from outside is 500,000 that is the cost so and then okay after the data about the uh, purchase price from from outside uh, below that you can see the cost if the business make the component direct material $9 direct labor $5 per unit variable cost Sorry, variable overhead one dollar per unit. Depreciation on equipment three dollar per unit. Supervisor salary two dollar per unit. General factory overhead uh, ten dollar per unit. I think. So uh, that is for one unit. So if the company make twenty thousand units, then the direct material cost is one hundred and eighty thousand. Uh, Nine dollar times twenty thousand units, and then direct labor is one hundred thousand. Uh, variable overhead is twenty thousand. Okay, one dollar times twenty thousand. Uh, depreciation of equipment is not a relevant cost. Remember, it is not a relevant cost. What is uh, the definition for relevant cost? Relevant cost is cost that will change from one alternative to another alternative. Material cost is relevant because if you make if the company make the the component the company has to pay one hundred and eighty thousand. If the company purchase the or buy the component, uh, the company don't have to pay anything. Uh, but depreciation of equipment is not a relevant cost, because if the company make the uh, component, the company has to pay something. If the company buy the component, the company has still to pay something or still has to uh, uh, to to bear the uh, the depreciation expense remember the depreciation uh, in this scenario is uh, the equipment is the sunk cost okay and then supervisor salary uh, 40000 2 dollar times 20000 units if the company make the product uh, the component the company has to pay 40000 supervisor salary but if the company buy the component from outside the company 
do not have to pay anything zero so it is a relevant cost uh, general factory overhead is ten dollar i think uh, if the company make the product the company has to pay the general factory overhead if the company buy the component also the company has to pay the general factory overhead so that's why it uh, the cost is not relevant cost so it is not included in the calculation so you can see here if the company make the component the total cost which is the total relevant cost equal to 340,000 if the company buy the component from outside the cost is, is 500,000 so now uh, which one is better to make the component or to purchase the component so you can we can see here the better option or the better uh, alternative or the good decision is to make the component if the company make the component the total cost equal to 340,000 uh, it is lower compared to if the company buy the component from outside okay see here the explanation the special equipment has no resale value so it is a sunk cost so sunk cost is not relevant cost it's not a relevant cost so you cannot include that in the uh, calculation when you want to make the decision uh, general factory uh, of it cost is uh, also a sunk cost uh, uh, also a not relevant cost it is unavoidable the product is dropped it will be reallocated to other products okay so should we make or buy part A uh, the company should make the part A okay to make or buy decision the decision rule is uh, the decision rule is uh, the company should should choose the cheapest alternative isn't it uh, you have seen in the previous slide the cheapest alternative is the uh, to make the to make the component Okay, this is the, the end of the first lecture. Uh, you can communicate with me in the comment section.